evaluate this integral it's a double integral and we have a fraction and on the bottom we have x squared plus y squared that means we can go for polar coordinates because the x squared plus y squared is the same as r squared and we can get rid of a square root so let's try to go for a polar coordinates and for that we need to find the reason here so let's try to draw this reason so d is here as it is given set of all x y and these are for y because y is inner so and x is outer x is in between 2 and 3 and y is in between 0 and x okay which is so x 2 to 3 1 2 3 so x equals 2 and this is 3 x equals 3 okay two vertical lines and y equals 0 that's the x axis y equals 0 and y equals x and y equals x in fact we are looking at this region for this integral okay so in any case this will be in terms of polar so we'll write down limits in a moment and dy dx that will be r dr d theta and on the bottom root r squared because x squared plus y squared is r squared so this is just r and x is what x is r cosine theta y would have been r sine theta so r cosine theta okay now we need to find the limits for r and theta as usual r comes first then theta if we go back here look at angle this is identity line y equals x so it goes in the middle of these two axes so this is theta equals pi over 4 and this is theta equals 0 so the bounds for theta are 0 and pi over 4 Okay, now we need to find the bounds for R. So if we go in this way, just up to this point, by the way, not all the way, up to that point. So from this origin to first vertical line, that's the R. So we need to find lower limit for R, this, here to here, and here to all the way to the other vertical line, that's on upper limit of R. So for the smaller one, let me draw here. This is R and from here to here, this is 2. And this is generic angle, any angle theta. I mean, this theta is in between 0 and pi over 4, but we have theta. Now this is a right triangle and we are trying to find the value of R. And we know this distance is 2. Uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse cross multiply so r equals 2 over cosine theta and 2 times 1 over cosine is secant so this is 2 secant theta so the lower limit for r that means the radial distance of this vertical line from origin is 2 secant theta and uh, radial distance of second line all the way to this one it's the same idea now we need to use this 3 so just 3 here this is 3 so this will be 3 so 3 secant theta okay so upper limit is 3 secant theta now let's work on this as you can see r cancel okay now let's integrate here is r cosine theta dr d theta first we need to integrate with respect to r cosine theta behaves like constant here so r so here is theta equals 0 through pi over 4 entire derivative of r is r square over 2 cosine theta is like constant so we can pull front r square over 2 and we have limits for r that's 2 secant theta through 3 secant theta and d theta 
okay so this is 0 through pi over 4 cosine theta times let's plug in upper limit and lower limit by the way this 2 is 1 half we can pull all the way outside r squared 3 secant theta squared okay that is 9 secant squared theta minus lower limit 2 secant theta squared 4 secant theta squared secant theta, theta d theta okay let's keep working on this 1 half 0 to pi over 4 cosine theta 9 copies minus 4 copies so 5 secant square theta d theta okay 1 over 2 this 5 can be pulled outside 5 halves cosine theta times secant square is in fact 1 over cosine square 1 over cosine square theta 0 to pi over 4 one copy of cosine cancel with this and we have d theta now 5 over 2 outside is 0 through pi over 4 we are left with 1 over cosine which is secant theta d theta now comes a little bit of challenging here so antiderivative of secant which was found in calculus 1 antiderivative of secant is natural log of secant plus tangent okay you can check this formula and theta is from 0 to pi over 4 okay now let's plug in upper limit and lower limit 5 halves upper limit natural log of secant pi over 4 uh, look at here cosine pi over 4 is 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2 then reciprocal is secant pi over 4 secant pi over 4 is just root 2 so natural log of secant pi over 4 is root 2 plus tangent pi over 4 that's 1 and in fact root 2 plus 1 is positive so we don't need we don't need absolute value we can just put parentheses that's the upper limit minus let's plug in 0 for theta natural log of secant 0 that's 1 cosine 0 is 1 its reciprocal is also 1 1 plus secant pi over 4 sorry tangent pi tangent 0 lower limit tangent 0 is 0 and in fact 1 plus 0 is 1 natural log of 1 is 0 so whole thing is 0 no contribution so the final answer is 5 natural log of root 2 plus 1 or 1 plus root 2 same thing all over 2 final